In the dimly lit, dark clinic, a high school girl was moaning continuously. The woman on the other side is skillfully clipping a baby out of her body, and casually packing it up and dropping it in a corner neck. The baby's cries continue to emanate from the corner. This is a horror film based on a real event in Thailand. Within days of its release, it caused mass panic. It even made people afraid to set foot in the temple again. The police found the bodies of more than 2,000 babies in the morgue of a temple. The truth behind the story is even more frightening. Mark and Mary have a lovely daughter and the family of three is happy. But recently there are a lot of strange things. Their daughter May is always staring into the dark. She says her brother is calling her. And Mark's side is even more creepy. Not only did he see the dead girl open her eyes while he was working. He also saw the dead man twitching in front of his eyes. At night, Mary takes May to buy a snack at a roadside stall. But May suddenly left alone and went into the temple. When Mary realized that May had disappeared, she searched all the way to the temple's locker. Suddenly a lock came off automatically. And May also suddenly appeared behind her, although she got May back. But May went home and became very strange. She was always talking to herself in her room. And she kept saying that her brother was playing with her. May then pointed to her backpack. Mary carefully opened the backpack. She didn't expect that there was a baby's body inside. Mary was very frightened. And Mark also took out an old toy inside, which was very scary. May said she found it from the temple. The next day Mark put the toy back under the tree by the temple, and took a camera to take pictures of the morgue. But he was kicked out by the staff. Mark went back to his car to look at the photos he had just taken. But then he suddenly realized that there was a child's face in the photo. Late at night, Mark was suddenly awakened by a sound. He finds many children's handprints on the mural in the living room. His daughter May had disappeared. At that moment, May was swinging alone in the yard. But suddenly, there were many eerie laughter next to her. May was so scared that she was about to burst into tears. Finally, Mark found May along the sound. Fortunately, May was not in any accident. The two of them took May home and fell into self-loathing. They thought they had spent too little time with May. May had developed a withdrawn personality. The next day Mary found out at school that two students, Abio and Quanner, had not come to school for several days. So she called their best friend to ask about the situation. It turns out that Abio and Quanner are having an affair and Quanner got pregnant accidentally. But Abio was too young to take responsibility. So she and Quanner discussed aborting the baby. He asked a friend to find a black clinic to get an abortion. This is a black-hearted doctor's. After a heartless ritual, he took out a cold iron pliers. Quanner went home after the abortion and felt sick in his stomach. It was obvious that the operation was not done properly. After learning about the incident, Mary went to Abo's house and found them, and promptly sent Quanner to the hospital. But in the middle of the night, something happened at Mary's house again. The sleeping couple was awakened by the sound of a child. Mark got up and found that his daughter May had disappeared. They looked around and found May on the staircase beam, and May explained that she was just out playing with her brother. Mark realized that there was something dirty in the house. So the next night, they set up a camera in the house, but just as the two lay down, the camera was dropped by a mysterious force. When Mark picked up the camera, it fell again. The next morning when Mark got up to check the video, the scene in front of him almost scared him to death. In the video, there was a dark shadow of a child. And after checking the other camera, he found that his daughter May had tumbled out of the window again. Mary rushed to open the curtains. May was sitting on the railing to say goodbye to her brother. Mary asked her daughter why she was sitting so high. Her daughter said that her brother was down there and asked her to go down and play with him. But Mark said you don't have a brother. The recent series of bizarre events have left Mary and Mark distracted. On the other hand, the teacher of the temple funeral home took a bag of baby's bodies. He came to the fireplace and threw them in to be burned. He must be very skilled at this. But the flame in the furnace suddenly went out, he had a bad feeling. He had to give up burning and put the rest of the bodies into the morgue. Late the next night black-hearted doctors brought in another bag of bodies. The teacher was a little scared after yesterday and told her about it. But black-hearted doctors gave the teacher a hard time. He said that if you don't want to do such a lucrative business, there are plenty of people who do. The teacher was convinced again for the money. But that night something happened on the side of black-hearted doctors. Black-hearted doctors just arrived home suddenly heard a strange crying sound. Before she could react, she was controlled by some mysterious power. She was stabbed in the lower body with an iron pliers. Black-hearted doctors broke free and ran out of control. But blood suddenly appeared on the ground. Black-hearted doctors begged for mercy as the cries came closer and closer. On the other hand, something happened at Mark's house. The old toys that Mark threw away before actually came back on their own. And Mary's expression suddenly became painful. Her mouth was full of baby's cries. And her strength became so strong that she pushed Mark unconscious on the floor. When Mark woke up again, Mary and his daughter were gone. 
Looking at the old toys on the ground, he realized that it must be related to the temple's morgue. So he drove to the temple. Mark called out Mary's name everywhere. Suddenly a morgue door was propped open and the bodies of countless babies spilled out. Mark was so scared that he ran away. Just then Mary woke up. She shouted her daughter's name. But it was obvious that her daughter was right behind her. She couldn't seem to hear or see anything. Just then Mark heard the sound of tapping on the locker door. But then blood suddenly oozed from morgue number three. He sat on the floor in fear. But when he heard Mary's voice inside, he grabbed a stick and broke the lock. Mary and May were really inside. But Mary seemed to be pulled by something. After a lot of effort, Mary was finally rescued. Mark rushed to carry May out again. But May asked Mark in return. Daddy, why don't you love me? Mark was confused by this question. When he turned his head to see, Mary was holding May and looking at him in horror. What he was holding was the body of a baby. With a baby's cold laugh, Mark fell into the blood, and countless baby corpses tore at him frantically. It turns out that Mark is a complete scumbag. When his wife Mary was pregnant, he had found a model, and got the model pregnant. When Mark found out, he told her to abort the baby without saying a word. Unexpectedly, the fetus in the model's belly heard the words. This is what led to this series of tragedies. A few days later, the police received a report from the public. They found the bodies of more than 300 babies in the temple's locker. Soon the master and the black-hearted doctors were arrested. In the next few days, the police found the bodies of more than 2,000 babies one after another. This is the end of the film. According to statistics, there are more than 300,000 abortions in Thailand every year. In other words, thousands of babies are abandoned every day. Through this film, the director hopes to reduce the number of illegal abortions among teenagers. After all, abortion has irreversible damage to both the child and the mother. If you are interested, you can see the original film, title, 2002 The Unborn Child.